Loose ball picked up by Morgan O'Flaherty. Plenty of support players. One of them is his centre half back, Emmett Bolton. Eamon Callahan comes out around the middle of the field to gather possession. Paul O'Flaherty. Nice ball back from James Kavner. Kavner goes for the return pass. Well marshalled. Goes back for his Eamon O'Callaghan. Has it again, thanks to a pass from Emmett Bolton. Going for the return. It's Callahan. Third attempt. Third wide, it looks. Not cut. It curls. That will settle Kildare. Three attempts, one score. Eamon Callan did an awful lot of work to produce this. He certainly did. He was involved on the far. His brother, still Kavner. Was he fouled? Referee says no. Play on Kildare. Alan Smith has a pop. The goalkeeper thinks it's wide, and the umpires agree. Three wides for Kildare, just one point. This is going to be a tight one. Looked over from there, Marty. I have to say, <laughs> I agree with you. It looks like a clear point. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. height on it. Uh, sometimes it can. Hugh Lynch giving it long, and it's a good ball down to the man who can score. James Gardner gets his first point in this All Ireland semi final. The long ball might just be the right option. Yeah, well, when you have a guy like Kavan, as I said, he's playing two inside, uh, alongside Doyle. He's got the height advantage, for sure, on Daniel McCartan. He uses it. Mark Pollitt. Down into second. Kevin McCurley coming from centre-half back. Oh, he hits that sweet left. Right over the crossbar. Son of Brendan McKernan, who played right corner back in the 1991 team that won the All Ireland. You can see it's in the genes, it's in the blood as he hits this perfectly. Beautiful point for sure. Lovely fat. Captain of Kildare, 32 year old Johnny Doyle. First three is a simple top over for him. Peter Kelly, easily anticipated by Marty Clark. Danny Hughes gives it long. Clark gets the return eventually. Goes for a ball and a dangerous ball. And it's in the nets. Benny Coulter gets the touch. And Pat McEnany will wonder what's gone through my mind as well. Was it a square ball? The umpires are going to be consulted down at the canal end. Mark Gilson and Jimmy Finnegan are the umpires. They have no doubt, apparently. And the goal will stand. Just watch this again. Coulter's clearly inside the small rectangle before the ball arrived. That is a square ball. Certainly looks like it to me. No, I think that's pretty definitive. Had a great view of it. Even the referee came in. And they still gave it. will give fire into the bellies of County Down. Danny Hughes lays it off first, Kevin McKenna on the turn. It's all about confidence. The center. And that will give fire into the bellies of County Down. Danny Hughes lays it off first, Kevin McKenna on the turn. It's all about confidence. The center half back scores his second point in this All-Ireland semi-final. It that took 12, 13 minutes for Down to settle. They got a lucky break with the goal, and Kevin McKernan, for the second time, scores a point. And that's a brilliant score. That is a really, for a centre-half back, low. Some of the Kildare tackling early on is very aggressive, and we're referencing last week's match where Dublin just crossed that line. There was a tackle down in the left corner just a few minutes ago, way over the top tackling, I would call it, and conceding unnecessary frees and opportunities this is Mark Poland scored 1-2 against Kerry an early goal was vital and this is his first point here well 
Football is a strange game, checking on him. Shane McCormick with the kick out. Peter Fitzpatrick is beginning to impose himself after Pildare got an early grip in the centre of the field. Hugh Flynn lays it off, fires more Eamon Callahan, gives it back, fires Owen O'Flaherty. Looking for James Cadman's side, good work by O'Flaherty. Runs out of space. Plenty of players available. Alan Smith feeds Hugh Flynn, that's a good ball actually. There's a chance of a score, onto the left post over the ball. Right out back, Morgan O'Flaherty joins the attack to put his name on the score sheet. Good vision, though, by Flynn. Good finish by O'Flaherty. That's a fantastic pass by Flynn. Great punchy distance to the outside of the right foot. Really invited him on to finish it off, and he duly obliged. Lovely score from Morgan O'Flaherty with the kit up. Francisco. Won his only county championship with his club when he was outstanding in 2004. Picking this over the bar for his second point. I'm not sure how strong he is on his left foot, but uh, that was an awful miss. Darrell Flynn. He asserts himself in the middle of the field. Nice ball from Eamon Callahan. In towards John Doyle. He can score from there. He's still the main man for the Lily Whites. And you can see why. His first from play, third overall. Yeah, brilliant again. Edging ever closer now to the top scorer, I think, in the championship. Is Brogan is just ahead of him, Bernard Brogan at Dublin. But in terms of fouling, we're not too sure who Pat McEnany gave the yellow card to. As the free is taken off the boots of Mark Poland. Just watch this again now. Yeah, that's correct. My apologies, Marty. Picked up here by Caleb King. Lays it off to Danny Hughes. Floating one in. Is it strong enough? It is. Danny Hughes from Savile. Didn't score against Kerry. He's already scored 12 points in the championship. And this going into uh, this... All-Ireland semi-final, following the 1-7 the Burnett scored last Sunday. John Doyle, this could well be his fourth. He'll now be within one point of Bernard Brogan for top scorer in the championship. Well, he made that one himself, you have to say it. What? And can dare control matters again, as they did for the first ten minutes. And then, Silly gives the ball away. Picked up by Danny Hughes. Marty Clark. Confident of scoring from way out the field. That is a brilliant point by Marty Clark. It's his first in the semi-final after 28 and a half minutes. Brilliant score. Bad turnover though from Kildare as they're bringing it out. Quickly brought back. And look at that for a lovely left foot. Absolutely splits the post. First score of the game. But he's been busy. Brian Flanagan is giving him a lot of tension as I attempted to describe kick out by Shane McCormick drops down the middle again Marty Clark the overlap is provided by Kevin McCarnan going straight through lays it off there's a chance of a goal and they offer the points That's this was a real goal scoring opportunity that is very undown like I'd have to say McCarnan knows it's a goal chance that's why he's driving on to the next opponent lays it off very nicely McComiskey is going to come in here now Oh, this is a real goal chance, but fists it over, takes his point. While we were looking at that replay, there's a chain. The free is quickly taken, fires Kevin McKernan. Won an All-Ireland minor in 2005. Mark Colet, Danny Hughes, taking on Emma Bolton. Past the 13, onto the left foot, and over the ball. It against Kerry is working here as well. Danny Hughes. Benny Coulter comes deep to gather possession. Down towards Paul McComiskey as the down forwards interchange positions. 
the overlap provided by Benny Coulter. And second thoughts about having a goal from there. Maybe this time hits it with the right arm. Oh, is beautiful. Goal and a points for Benny Coulter. He is a very special talent. From Mayo Bridge, wearing 13. And who won? War 13 back in 91 and 94, his club mate, Mickey Linden. Mr. Linden, that's correct. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. Lovely little pass inside when he wasn't 100% sure what he wanted to do, but when he gets it back, you see just here, gets a little ball back, and wow, what a shot from this. Really serious angle. Well, Benny Coulter has contributed significantly in this first half.